I am an artist. An artist can be defined in a number of ways. When I consider the various definitions for the word artist, I believe that I am indeed an artist in several ways. Artist. A person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. If coloring counts, then I am undoubtedly an artist. I love the way that sitting down to color makes me feel like a child all over again. In my own personal opinion, you are never too old for coloring books. In fact, I own a number of grown-up coloring books myself that are filled with the most beautiful pictures just begging to be colored. Although I do not do it very often anymore, I also used to do a fair amount of sketching. I don't consider myself to be highly skilled as an artist in this regard, but there really is something wonderful about the flow of a pencil across the thick textured sheet of a sketchbook. An extra line here, some delicate shading there, as an image comes to life upon the page. I do not scrapbook in real life, but I do use digital scrapbooking materials to create my own graphics. I have no time or desire to fuss with papers, glitter, glue, and all of the necessary supplies required for scrapbooking. My mouse, my digital folder of scrapbooking supplies, and some Photoshop software provide me with a palette upon which to bring my ideas to life. The ease with which I can layer, crop, alter, adjust, and refine the papers, ribbons, embellishments, and more makes this an enjoyable hobby for me. I am a creator. I am an artist. Artist. A person who practices any of the various creative arts, such as a sculptor, novelist, poet, or filmmaker. I am an aspiring writer, with the hopes to one day be a published author. I have written a number of children's stories and countless poems. I write in both prose and in rhyme, and I love weaving language into vivid descriptions and playful phrases. Here is the beginning of one of my most recent literary creations. Slam! Crash! Boom! Getty Goose smiled as she watched the last of the garden gnomes topple helplessly into the flower bed. Out of all of the things that annoyed her on the farm, the garden gnomes bothered her the most. Their goofy fake smiles drove her mad. But worst of all was the chubby one with the fish dangling off of his fishing rod. Preposterous. The very act of writing fills me with joy. I am an artist. Artist. A person skilled at a particular task or occupation. I believe that this third and final definition is where the artist in me truly shines. Each and every day in the classroom, I am striving to bring the knowledge, skills, and content of our lessons to life for my students. When I craft each lesson, I am mindful of many important elements all at once. How can I effectively grab and maintain the attention of my students? How can I engage them, inspire them, make them want to be better tomorrow than they are today? In recent years, technology has played a big role in my efforts to do all of these things. I don't consider myself to be a master teacher, but I know that I am making a difference in the lives of my students. I know this because they tell me. Sometimes, many years later, when they have returned to seek me out and let me know how they are and what they have accomplished. I know because their parents share their feelings about the impact that I have had upon their children. I know because I have poured a little bit of myself into each and every one of my students, and in at least some small way, I have shaped who they will become in the future. When it comes to my students, I am an artist because I am skilled at my occupation, but I am also an artist because I am helping to sculpt my students of today into the difference makers of tomorrow. I am an artist.